Hello, YouTube viewers. In my previous video, I changed the bearings, slip ring, and brushes in my alternator. In this video, I will bench test it before installing it back in my car. On the back of it, I have terminals B, D, and the negative terminal. It will go to the vise, and I will make electrical connections according to this diagram. Battery positive goes through an M meter to the B plus terminal on the alternator. A voltmeter measures the voltage across the battery terminals. D plus is connected through a regular automotive bulb to the positive wire connecting B plus with the positive battery terminal. Common negative battery terminal and negative alternator terminal. All connections are done according to the diagram, and I power up the system. The voltmeter shows the battery voltage, and the light goes on. The M meter shows 1.6 amps. Now I turn the alternator pulley with a drill. The light goes off. The current increases and the voltage goes up a bit. In the beginning, the alternator charges the battery with about 7 amps at a little over 12 volts. Then the amperage drops to about 3, 2.5 amps and the voltage increases to about 14 volts. The alternator stops, the light goes on, the current goes back to 1.6 amps, voltage at about 12.38. The alternator charged the battery by about 0.3 volts. So it works. But why do we bother with D plus connection? Let's find out. Now I will disconnect the bulb. Terminal D plus is not connected. The alternator pulley is turning, but nothing happens. The voltage stands still. I connect back the bulb. Light comes back on. We tested this setup already. The pulley is turning. The light goes off. The voltage goes up and the current flows. But now I will disconnect the wire from D plus while the alternator is running. Basically same electrical connections as before. But now the alternator is charging the battery with 2.5 amps at about 14 volts. Why is it? Well, the alternator doesn't have permanent magnets and an electric current is generated when a magnetic field is moving in proximity to an electric conductor. When we start the engine, electric current flows from the battery through the bulb, which illuminates, to the D plus terminal, and then through the slip ring into the alternator rotor coil. The coil produces a magnetic field. The engine is spinning the rotor. The magnetic field is sweeping through the stator coils and voila! Electricity flows. The AC current is rectified into the DC current and it flows to the car systems as well as to the battery. At the same time, current flows past those diodes and into the rotor coil. As long as the alternator is spinning and generates current, it feeds its rotor. No current flows through the D plus terminal. The bulb goes off. The voltage regulator keeps check not to surpass 14.6 volts, which can cause damage to the battery. Our bulb is nothing more than the light on the dash. Cranking the engine, we should check if it lights up and if it goes off when the engine is running. Here I have another alternator. Let's check this one too. 
B plus, D plus, common.